Amy yeah. and I are just gonna have a moment to talk about Tim Tebow being being a uh, Colorado girls. Even though he's no longer with us, he's always with us in our hearts. In our hearts, yeah, oh, my for God. sure. So tell me again <laughs> about the CFDAs and Darren, where we stalked him. Yeah, yeah, we stalked him. Yeah, and my fiance literally was laughing at me because I was, I was giggling and turning pink, and I was like, Oh my God, and I'm from Denver, and you play in Denver. We have so much in common. <laughs> like we should get together. I'm like, you know, just hang out and be friends. I was such a fool. I, I have, know. but you know this. I have no game. Well, yeah. I turned into a five year old. My fiance just left. I, I yelled at someone for photo bombing the picture. Oh really? Yeah, because I was like, it's my time for a picture with Tebow, and this guy jumped in. I was like, you did not just photo bomb like in front of Tebow. Like that's game. <gasps> He comes in, and you know, it's just, you're like, Meryl Streep, Tom, ah. everybody's coming at you. And it was Tim Tebow walked in that room, and everyone Everybody. was like, I want to get to Tebow. But, but anyway. also, let's just talk about, like, it's one thing to see him all suited up. Mm -hmm. But now I'm sounding like I know him too well. Yeah. But when you see him, he's yeah. not in this suit. Yeah. Nobody's just really good looking in yeah. person. He and he's very charismatic. He's well, like I should probably stop again. talking about okay. Tebow. We'll move Sorry, on to Darren. The Master. We are here yes. in Toronto, 2012, talking about Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master with Amy Adams, yes. who basically it's a three-hander, I feel. Like you've um, got Joaquin Phoenix and you have Philip Seymour Hoffman and you have you, basically. Well, that's generous of you. Thank and, you. And the kind of center working working with these two um, megalomaniacs in their own way, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the film. I It is an understatement. I was just kind of obsessed with it and feel like I need to see it again, as with all of kind of PTA's films. They, they, they demand a second viewing, I feel. It's true. The f I, I saw it for the second time last night and we were talking about this, how the first time all I was doing was feeling and it was so overwhelming. It took me days to process how I felt because it was just so, it, it hit me on like a core level and um, last night I was actually able to see the movie instead of just feel the movie. Your part, it's the woman behind the man. I mean, That's and you right. see that, and you, this kind of gentle, and you 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 have it pregnant, and then you have a baby, and this kind of gentle, seemingly yeah. sweet-faced uh, wifey, and we you're obviously wifey number three, maybe. What is that? I think it's number three. Well, but it's a little unclear. But you're obviously not the first wife because there's grown children. Can we not talk about that? I yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, but for sure. But fierce performance, fierce, Thank because you. really you have to bring them all down. You have to, like, you bring him, you, you stand him up when it's most important and keep him going, and she's a bitch. I have to say, it's the only character upon watching, I don't judge a character while I'm working on him, but it's the only one that I've ever played upon watching a film that I'm like, I really don't like you. Mm -hmm. I do not like her. She, I would not be friends with her. I am scared of her. <laughs> You know, and it's the first time. Did PTA come after you for this part, or how did you get involved in the whole thing? I met him at like a diner in the valley, you know, it's, which is very Paul Thomas Anderson, mm -hmm. you know. And um, I remember meeting him because he said, well, I'll always remember this moment because there was an exterminator coming out of the kitchen as we were eating. We're like, uh-oh. Um, so we will always remember that moment. Uh, well, um, no, it's so great. And also, I just had Walter Salison here for On the Road. I mean, oh, what yeah. a great little turn you have in that. Oh, thank you. Scrubbing the floors and Vigo. I mean, Vigo's he's got amazing some, in it, isn't it? Yeah. I enjoyed working with him as well. You've got quite um, quite the laundry I've, list of leading men I've that been you're. I'm really lucky. They are so talented. I mean, I could go on and on. Mm -hmm. I really, I have to say with the master that I'm just, I feel so humbled to be in that film and to be a part of it, not only the brilliance of Paul, but the commitment that both Joaquin and Philip give and the sacrifice of self they give to those performances mm -hmm. are just, mm -hmm. it's humbling. Because I don't know that I could do that. I don't know I could yeah. ever sacrifice myself in that way. I think you could. Yeah. We'll see. I we'll mean, see. I like. I do yeah. have to say, I love the way you, you you do your career because you take on a little little part in on the road an ensemble piece. It's it's so it's small but but pivotal, and then you yeah. obviously Lois Lane, and then this movie, Paul Thomas Anderson. Well, my mom little... sent me this this uh, saying because I just did uh, the musical in the park, mm -hmm. um, and it was challenging for me. And and she said something. I mean, it's in my phone, so I'm going to misquote it. But something about um, for those who don't take chances, there are no chances, and so. Right. It kind of it, it made me feel better because I do I try to put myself out there and change things up and it makes me feel vulnerable sometimes because you expose your weakness in doing that mm -hmm. and you have to work through your weakness and turn your weakness into a strength so I feel like 
on a lot of the films that I've been working on. It really exposes a weakness, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do is to, to build the foundation mm -hmm. and check for any... I don't know to what effect. Am I trying to build a house? I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess it keeps it, you interested, isn't it? It's it, life is long. It, it keeps you interested. Well, I want to learn from the films that I do. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, I look forward to seeing all the ones coming down the pike. But Thanks, this sweetie. is a great one. And um, we'll see you around later. Yeah. Okay. Let's do dinner. Yeah. Like tonight.